those who are a part of the world of AT&T Network Systems Product Management travel in no ordinary circles. It's a world as diverse as the world of AT&T itself. Your guide to this world is the Network Systems Product Management Curriculum. Over a hundred modules give you the skills and knowledge you might need to find your way, no matter what your business unit or job responsibilities. For example, part of your job as a product planner in media might be strategic or business planning. You make sure that the strategic plans for your product reflect the goals, the constraints, and the changes in the organization's higher level strategic and business plans. You are responsible for one of the eight major product management functions. Perhaps you're a product planner in switching product management. Part of your job might involve market analysis. You are responsible for competitive product analysis and market share forecasts. This is another of the key product management functions. Or maybe you're responsible for financial analysis for a transmission product. Your responsibilities might include revenue forecasts and product pricing strategies for a single product. This is still another of the eight key product management functions. Perhaps you are responsible for an operation systems product that is under development. You are handling yet another major PM function, product development planning and management. Your job might involve specifying and negotiating product deliverables, schedules, and costs. You would work with Bell Labs to manage the development effort. No matter what business unit you work in, during a product's life cycle, you may help plan and manage the manufacturing and physical distribution of the product. This includes working with various manufacturing organizations to obtain planning documents, such as a manufacturing plan, or a manufacturing process design, or a physical distribution plan. As your product comes to market, you may be responsible for negotiating sales objectives with the sales organization, and planning and controlling sales support activities. You do this to ensure that we achieve the marketing objectives for the product. You might manage the development and implementation of a sales support plan. Another major function is product support. This involves managing the availability of such things as product documentation, training, and installation. Seven major functions, and one last function that you do regardless of your job. Planning at the tactical level. You deal with organizations like Bell Labs, manufacturing, sales operations, and market operations. Depending on where your product is in the life cycle, you deliver, update, and execute business proposals, business cases, or product plans. Tactical planning, just like market analysis, financial analysis, and strategic planning, runs through product development, manufacturing, and the support functions. You may develop and implement plans for a product or for a strategic business unit, often called an SBU, which can consist of a group of products. Eight PM functions in our product management model, and each of them is an important part of the PM job. Your job responsibilities may involve a single product and function, or multiple functions. For example, market data analysis and sales support, or multiple products. Your job may even consist of one or more functions for an entire product line. The product management model helps illustrate the total PM function, and it can also help you prepare for your job by identifying the functions for which you have responsibility. In turn, this highlights the areas where you need certain skills and knowledge. And where do you get the skills you need for all these parts of your job? Where do you get the knowledge? Some of it you already have. Some of it comes with experience. But much of it you'll learn through training available in the Network Systems Product Management Curriculum. The curriculum makes three different series of modules available to you. 
with basic, intermediate, and advanced skills in a variety of business and management areas. First, product management basics, the 1000 series. Second, general functional product management knowledge and skills in the 2000 series. And third, advanced skills and knowledge in the 3000 series. Most of the modules in these series are optional. For example, the first modules in the 1000 series. These modules are computer-based lessons about 15 minutes long. They describe the different AT&T lines of business. Other modules tell you about various internal and external influences on your job. For example, regulatory restrictions. Still other modules cover AT&T organizations that you may have to work with. Organizations like Bell Labs or the Document Development Organization. These online modules are easily accessible at any time for training or reference. One series of four text-based modules introduces new product planners to their jobs. Modules 1051 through 1054. The 1000 series concludes with an eight-day group-paced course covering the network system product management process. Find out about any of these modules in your supervisor's curriculum catalog. The 2000 series modules give specific skills and knowledge to product planners and managers who already have some experience. Groups of modules in this series focus on areas of general product management skills, such as how to conduct meetings. There are also modules for personal development skills, such as negotiating or business writing. Some modules cover the PM functions you saw in the PM model. For example, the planning and management of the manufacturing function. And other 2000 series modules provide generic management and supervision training. For modules teaching still more advanced PM skills and knowledge, there's the 3000 series. You'll find advanced modules on general skills, such as managing projects and project teams. Another group of modules teaches advanced personal development skills, such as problem solving. And still another group goes into PM managerial development. There are modules geared to every aspect of the PM job, and the curriculum will evolve to meet the changing needs of the organization. You'll tailor your own training plan to match your job. What's the best way to start? Use the curriculum catalog to see which of the modules you might need in the very first series, the 1000 series. If you need to, find out about AT&T Corporate, the end user organization, Bell Labs, Network Systems, Technology Systems, and International. Then go through the 1050 series. First, the PM Functional Performance Model Overview. More detail about the eight functions you've seen in this video. There's the PM Novel, fictional descriptions of real things that happen in the PM job. Then Module 1053, an orientation to your local PM business unit. And the 1050 series concludes with an orientation to the PM job. You'll find that part of Module 1054 requires you to develop a training plan with your supervisor. You and your supervisor can use the curriculum planning guide to develop your training plan. Based on the way your job is defined in Module 1054, you'll identify the modules you need. There are modules directed at PMs new to AT&T and modules for those who have experience with the company. After you choose the appropriate modules for you and your job, you'll set up a schedule for taking them. Follow the registration procedures in your curriculum catalog. All of these modules, of course, are simply tools. So are the catalog and the curriculum planning guide. They're tools designed to help you become more effective on the job. The curriculum requires your time, your effort, your commitment. But from it, you get the knowledge and skills that will help you succeed. The Network Systems Product Management Curriculum. A curriculum customized for your complex and challenging job in the world of Network Systems Product Management.